Hi, I'm Alex Osichenko. Uh, I work at Mobidev, a software development company uh, that provides dedicated tools for uh, product companies. Uh, and today I'm going to talk about uh, the release process of a uh, software product and uh, how a pilot client uh, of this product would uh, change the product. And uh, uh, a little bit about my background. Um, I work at Mobida for about six years, uh, and um, um, uh, I had I had experience of being web developer, project manager, team leader, and uh, let me explain uh, what I mean by about client here, product uh, company. So uh, we have the product company and uh, company that I work at helps them to create a software. Product that is actually uh, some kind of a product that uh, serves businesses and uh, uh, product company gets revenue uh, from the clients. And when we release this product, uh, the pilot, and we need to have some pilot clients which would do uh, the first real life testing of this product. And they, they will have uh, end users. It can be employees company of our clients or it can be uh, uh, any kind of customers of those business. Okay, so what types of products uh, am I talking about? It can be e-commerce, uh, any type of e-shop, uh, both B2C or B2B. It can be CRM uh, or even complex uh, ERP system. The most uh, complex product I worked on was uh, an ERP system for uh, medium and uh, small size retail business. Okay, so um, how Pilot Client changes your product? So we released uh, the better version of the product and everything seems to be fine. The team told that, hey, it's a good product, uh, we can go. Uh, but there is a problem, it was not tested in real life conditions yet and uh, we need to do this. And uh, it all starts from uh, importing data uh, from the old system to the new system. And uh, basically, the Pilot Client would provide us some CSV file with records. And uh, uh, during the beta version development, uh, it would most likely happen that importing tools are not there because the development team was focused on features of the system but not uh, uh, help such uh, additional tools like importing and stuff like that. And uh, on uh, project, uh, one biggest project I had, uh, we got uh, a CSV file from a pilot client of about 100,000 records of customers. and. Uh, we found out that about 30% of those records uh, were actually missing uh, an email field. Uh, and in our uh, product, uh, email field was required. And we, we, we found out that we had to change this uh, and make this field configurable. And uh, other thing was that uh, we did not test uh, the system on uh, such amount of records, and uh, we had uh, a, search, a search engine in this system that was re-indexing every minute in background. It was simply a solution to go with, uh, and it worked for a smaller amount of records. But then we found out that in real life, uh, it started uh, loading CPU too much, and we have to quickly optimize this for pilot client. All right. Uh, after uh, importing uh, data, uh, the good impact of pilot client on the software product we build is uh, the fresh look at the system. Because during the uh, beta version, uh, the only guys who uh, were using the system were PA team and product company owner uh, team, business team. And uh, they get used to all big places in UI. They get used to uh, all workarounds and stuff like that. Uh, but when uh, 
actual pilot client tries to use it in real life, they would uh, obviously see all these weak places and um, tell about them. But please don't expect a pilot client to work as a professional PA team. They are busy with uh, running uh, their business and they would only jump around time from time and report about problems uh, not consistently. But even this uh, would be very helpful to improve uh, your software product. Okay, so other thing is that when we uh, get a uh, get, uh, commit uh, start the product, uh, get an agreement with uh, file client, uh, we get a strict deadline uh, because we need to go live at some point. And uh, it's very uh, good for the product uh, at this point, uh, at this critical point, because uh, the development team has to be very focused. And this deadline is a kind of deadline that is uh, committed to third party and there is no way back. Uh, we have to uh, fit into it. Also, uh, our client would report about all features they lack. Uh, obviously, when you have a better version of this product, you have all core features there. Uh, but uh, uh, something might be missing, uh, who knows? And they would report uh, on that. Uh, but it can be a way to manipulate uh, for, uh, and they can ask for some specific feature for their business. So uh, it's a hard way to balance between, uh, uh, between uh, agreeing with adding some specific features for these power clients or just keep uh, the feature set uh, for this uh, business type in general. Okay. And why it's important to tell a uh, development team uh, about uh, the first pilot client? Um, I can give you an example. I've read in a very interesting book by Richard Feynman, the Assurance Joke with Feynman. So on this slide you can see um, guys that did uh, calculations uh, for uh, Manhattan Project during World War II. Uh, so they help scientists uh, to do some calculations. But uh, due to security reasons, uh, they were not told uh, what they are doing. Uh, and uh, they were not doing really well, uh, because they did kind of a monkey job. Uh, but uh, Richard Feynman could, got, uh, could get a permission uh, to tell the general idea that they are uh, helping to create nuclear bomb before natives would do that. After guys realized that, uh, they changed uh, their attitude, they started working much harder, and they also started to find ways how to uh, improve their work and improve their processes. The same thing happens uh, when uh, your software product gets filed client. So we share information about this with uh, this development team. They realize that they create product that solves uh, problems for real people, and when they see it, it's a very good motivation. So, uh, what type of thing can you about that? Yeah. On this image, you can see pretty um, opposite uh, picture. Uh, this is a bit old school guy that uses Windows 3.1 and sometimes pigeon email. Uh, in, uh, for us, ideal power plant would be uh, much more modern thinking person uh, that can uh, take some risks uh, to get additional benefits, uh, to get some uh, nice features and new modern system. Uh, on a product, on a, a project I had, uh, we had uh, two pilot clients. Uh, first of them was a really good fit uh, for the system we helped to with. Uh, it was. Uh, they used, had, they used one of the basic set of features uh, and uh, the uh, integration of the product was done by the team of the Power customer. Uh, but after this, uh, the uh, owner of this uh, company had a look into admin panel and it was a web panel uh, because uh, I worked on a cloud-based system. 
And they told that, hey, um, I prefer desktop applications. I don't like websites. So the product company had to change uh, the, uh, the power client. And uh, power client we got uh, was uh, much closer to uh, ideal um, I described. It was a very good collaboration. Uh, so uh, power client could uh, get uh, additional features they needed for their for running their business, and they tested uh, uh, the product in real life, and it uh, and gave their uh, good feedback, uh, and we could improve system very much. Okay, so uh, sorry. At this point, when we uh, release our product, uh, Power Client, we need to go through a checklist to make sure we won't, we won't be in trouble. So it's our last chance before actual release. Uh, we need to sh make sure that uh, from the first day of our uh, of our system being live, we have a uh, uh, backup of all uh, crucial data. have automatic uh, deployment for our system, so uh, also we will need to make sure that uh, we send notifications when something goes down in our system, any of services, and um, uh, it would help to fix it uh, as soon as possible. And also we need to have some uh, error logs uh, management, and uh, uh, ideally Tools. So this would help us to analyze error logs and uh, fix issues before client actually notices them. Uh, okay. So uh, okay. So uh, I think that power client uh, is a scalable term uh, because uh, when you release uh, the software product and you run it with your first power client. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's your last power client. When you uh, add a new big feature, you will run it on some new big power client. When, you, uh, when your product supports your business time, you will also need some new power client. And it will go on <coughs> as the system grows and uh, gets uh, its place on the market. Okay. So that's why I think that, well, first client is the first love of the product. And uh, uh, it's, it has pretty much, uh, it has a lot of things in common with first uh, romantic relationship. There is uh, no silver bullet, you just have to go through it. Okay, so uh, if you're uh, interested uh, in uh, software development, uh, please, Ask any questions, or you can find uh, all the uh, stand right there. Thank you very much.